uh, last week I actually began a new segment here on the podcast uh, inadvertently uh, when I when I brought up that movie Over the Edge and when those kids riot in the school and they lock the police and the parents and the teachers because they were having that meeting in the cafeteria. They lock them in the fucking cafeteria and then they start vandalizing the school. And the cop runs up and he's tugging on the fucking chain link fence or whatever the fuck they put up and he can't get out and this chick Big chick, like six foot two, comes running by with this giant globe. She runs by the camera and then comes running back, looks at the cop and goes, Eat it, you stinking pig. Eat it, you stinking pig. <laughs> one, of the, one of the most fucking horrific lines I've ever seen in a fucking movie. And that ended up inadvertently creating a new segment. Best lines in awful movies. And uh, I got one for you. It's... Uh, Shark Attack 3. Just go on YouTube and look up Shark Attack 3 famous line. And I challenge you to be silenced after you fucking hear what this guy says. I think I just said, what? It's just, it's the most, one of the most fucked up lines I've ever heard in a movie. I'm exhausted. Yeah, me too, but, you know, I'm really wired. What do you say I take you home and eat your pussy? You know what? That, that's the challenge. Give me a line worse than this fucking line in Shark Attack 3 famous line. And also, I was kind of surfing. You know, I started surfing bad movies because I, I got into that part on YouTube. And uh, a definitely must rent. A definite rental for me. Uh, I'm taking a month off here. Coming up around Christmas is... Uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 5. I have to watch that fucking movie. Um, there's another great one. Just just go on YouTube and fucking just look at the movie. Tr- just look at the trailer for that fucking movie. You know, somebody asked me the other day. He's like, you know, as an actor, when you're in a bad movie, do you think you realize it? You know? And I think on a movie like that, you do. But the scary thing is, is I think on anything else, you don't. Because you're so at the fucking mercy of the music, of the edits, and all that type of shit. You just pray to God you got somebody good. That's what I learned in date night when I delivered eight fucking lines. Listen to me talking like I'm in, in, inside the actor's fucking studio. Eat it, you stinking pig! Um, watch the video, Steven Seagal, Blood Bank. You can take that to the bank. I'm going to take you to the bank, Senator Trent. To the blood bank. Uh, it's just fucking awesome. It, I, I really want to just go out one night and just rent five of the worst fucking movies ever and just sit there and watch it with a couple of people that can appreciate it because some of the lines in these fucking movies are incredible. Please, please keep sending me these videos because it's just making a nice long list of movies that I have to sit down and watch. Um, you know who's great for that, by the way, too? Are you guys fr- fans of 30 Rock? And I'm only going to name a name here because this is something positive. Uh, Judah Freelander is an encyclopedia of knowledge on movies in general, but forget about bad movies. One time I was I was hanging out. I was like, dude, what was the name of that movie uh, Steven Seagal had? It was one of his earlier ones. And uh, he, he fought all those, those fucking Bob Marley looking dudes. And he, he just goes, without even missing a beat, he just goes, Marked for Death, great movie. And I go, what was the plot of that? He goes, the plot of that movie is basically Steven Seagal beats up Jamaica. <laughs> I'm butchering all this shit. He said it in a much funnier way. And then he, then he broke down why that movie was great. And it basically came down to, he said, that movie introduced the breaking of bones in martial art movies, according to him, or or took it to just an entirely different level. And I'm telling you, if you watch Mark for Death and you're squeamish, uh, that's not a movie to watch because I've never seen so many compound fractures. Is that the compound fracture? Is that the one where, where it, it comes out through the skin? That's the one I'm talking about. All right. Once again, I start talking and I get in over my head. This has been the Easy Listening Podcast.